Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Steely P. It's Thursday the 25th of March. We have new mods. There are no updates today. Yesterday there was one mod and some updates. So I've thrown the mod in with these for today and we'll also look at yesterday's updates because we haven't got any updates today. So the updates for yesterday are... As usual, from top left, the John Deere RTK stations pack by Mephew FS, the New Holland T7 series by Blauer, the Craner Slurry Tank by A Dub Modding, Permas Modding, Ben M Mods, ABP Team and White Ball Modding, the Rosmarin H912 by Backy, the TMR Pig Food Production by ER Shabba, and the Old Wooden Fence by Hub Photos. In front of me, then, we've got the water pack. This is by Omatana. It is 3.24 megabytes of download. There are seven placeables in this pack. The range, three slots down to one, so nothing above three slots. We've got a couple of wells. We've got a hydrant. We've got a kind of smaller hydrant. A couple of water tanks, and then like a garden water pump. Each of these, once placed, the water is free. Nicely detailed. These are under placeables and miscellaneous. We start off with the water well traditional. I think they're all 500. Slot counts here, like I say, three, twos and ones, so not too bad. The wooden water well, the water hydrant, the port hydrant, water container clear, water container coloured. Uh, yeah, I don't, there's not options on that. I think it just comes in green. And the garden well, each 500. What I will say is this. When you come to place them, be very careful, because at the moment, it doesn't look like there is anything. And it was the same with a few of them. You have to zoom right in before it becomes visible. When I first clicked on them, I was kind of zoomed out a bit, and nothing was showing. Like now, just just outside the range, and I'm looking thinking, that's weird, it's not working. And I think I placed three initially before realising I needed to zoom right in so I could see them. I've never really been counted that before, but I'd obviously had it zoomed out for some particular reason. So that's the water pack by Omatana. Next, and the reason why I'm saying we're going to do this one next is because it's actually right next to us here in the mod hub. We have got the placeable stone walls. This is by Top Ace 888, 1.84 megabytes download. Each of these wall sections are two slots. We have a pillar, we have a wall 5 metre. Now each of these first ones has a pillar on the end of it. So a 5 metre, a 10 metre, a 20 metre, a 40 metre and an 80 metre wall. We then have the 5 metre without pillar, 10 metre without pillar, a 5 metre corner piece, a 10 metre corner piece. I think that's... yeah, that's it. Now, when it comes to placing these, it does say on the website... They can be placed in 0 0.1 metre steps, rotated in 5 degree angles. If I just pick one, let's go with the shorter wall. So they rotate round in 5 degree angles, so you can get the placement pretty much as you want it. It does say the walls are 2 metres deep into the ground, which gives you room for placing them, because what I found was, if you went, it's not going to do it now. <laughs> of course it's not. Weirdly, when I came to place some of them, they would double the height. And I had to actually lower them down, but I think it's designed for, when you come to hills and things like that, it's supposed to allow them to... There we go. So you could place it like that, if you wanted to. It just gives you a bit of fl flexibility. Flexibility? Flexibility! Whilst placing! Um, so anyway, they're all here. The pillar, the five, the ten the 20, the 40, and the 80 metre wall. And then we've got the ones without pillar, the 5, the 10, the one that I just placed, and then the two corner pieces, the 5 metre and the 10. What's nice about these as well, these are nice and thick, so when it comes to lining them up next to each other, it makes life so much easier. And because they go in 5 degree increments, that often you can get a bit of movement beyond where you want it to be to line up properly. These will line up, bump, 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 yeah, really nice. So, yeah, pretty nice. That's the placeable stone walls by Top Ace 888. Moving on from there, we have got 
this. This is the Barn Pack by Lancy Boy. 19.95 megabytes download. We have four buildings. We've got a large barn, small barn. We have a vehicle barn and a vehicle shed. Just want to get it right. <laughs> These are six slots, seven slots. We'll have a look at them. They'll be in order actually in the, in the uh, store. I'm sure. I'm sure I placed them in order. Anyway, really nicely detailed. Lancy Boy's mods that have been coming out as well as his maps have been really, really nice. Nicely detailed, nice texturing, nice kind of weathering. We do have lighting. And skylights as well. That's the large barn. The small one, again, lighting. They're pretty nice. Around there. Easily distinguishable. <laughs> and then we've got the vehicle barn which i think is this one because it's a barn is kind of enclosed and then the vehicle shed which is open around the bottom section which is more of a shelter a covering i think i think that's the difference between the two pretty sure again each one with lights and these you will find under sheds Forty-five thousand for the large sheds yeah so interesting the slot count was six slots for the large barn 35 grand and seven slots for the small barn, 25 grand and 10 slots for the vehicle barn. And then that one should say vehicle shelter, I think, or vehicle shed, 15,000 and six slots. So that one actually was more slots than that, which surprised me. I thought it would be, anyway, that's what it was. That's what they cost. Um, that's by Lancy Boy. Nice set of buildings. Uh, next, I've got myself lost, caught in a maze of my own creation. Ah, right, here we are. We've got this, the MAN, or oh, MAN, as I, I get in trouble when I say that. The MAN TGS 33500 Timber by Chatter Modding. It is 16.04 megabytes download, 47 slots on console. We have a few of these type of vehicles. There's a standard in-game one as well. I will go out on a limb and, and risk being ostracised and shouted at but it's a bit more basic than the standard in-game one and we have had a, a few different ones of these but it does have straps it does have a crane I don't think it's got opening doors and windows if I recall I've had a few mods to put out today and go through the options on this you'll find under forestry machines not under trucks so the standard in-game one there 640 horsepower, 40 slots, 180 grand to buy. This one at the other end, 190 grand to buy, 500 horsepower. Like I said, 47 slots, which drops down to three. Options available, we can change the design colour, which is the crane colour. 21 of those three. The main, hang on. The main colour to anything on that palette, which has the cab. The rim colour, anything on that palette, but if you want to keep a, a silver wheel rim you'll want to leave it on that one but you can change it if you wish and then we've got the option of lizard or Nokian tires and there's no options within those you just get those so what we'll do is start it up horn we don't have any beacons lights indicators down the bottom I did wonder whether those were beacons up there, but I can't get those to come on, those lights that are on this, the visor. I have tried various different light options, but can't get to work. I'm going to open the side menu just to double check. I'm pretty sure there are no doors open. In cab, nice and tidy. Mirrors work. If we have our options for view, We've got in-cab and the crane function. So what we'll do is unfold the truck. L1 and X. Takes a little bit of time. Bear that in mind when you come to fold it back up again. Because <laughs> I folded it and it just it didn't seem to do anything. I thought, okay, we might have a problem here. That's it unfolded and ready to go. So now it's the crane functions. L1 and right stick up and down. Does that function. Side to side. Does that function. So L1 and right stick, then R1 and right stick up and down, does that function? Side to side, does that function? 
So if we zoom, take that right out, put quite a bit of reach on it. Then L1, R1, left and right of the D-pad rotates the head, up and down on the D-pad, opens and closes it. There's no tension belt or anything on the, the grab itself, it's a standard crane. Like I say, we do have the tension belts on the bed itself. Now, if I do fold truck now, I don't think it folds the crane away. I think you have to fold the crane away, then do it. But I'll try it, L1 and X, and see if it does fold away. I don't think it does. If it does, it's really taking its time. Ah, so it doesn't. Right, let's unfold the truck. I need to put the crane away myself. Close that up. Rotate there. And then fold truck. Lights off. So I mean, it takes a while and then it goes right. Born, do we do that? Yep. It does have a rear trailer hitch as well, so you can hook up other trailers for log transportation. But there you go. The uh, MAN TGS 33500 Timber by Chatter Modding. Next, also within the Timber realm, <coughs> we have got this, the Forest Trailer for the Quad. This is by Driver 300. It is 2.36 megabytes download, three slots on console. A small trailer with straps for putting logs on. doesn't come with the logs. I put those on there. Um, it is designed to go with the quad. It does have a, I say, a fairly regular trailer, but it's quite small. So maybe like the Land Rover Santana mod, some of the pickups, those kind of things. But the wheels do kind of match up, depending on which options you go for, with various quads. Straps can be done from the quad or manually from outside it says it's not going to let me do it oh I've done that one there we go and uh, then off you go if you want to do a little bit of forestry but you don't want to go mad with it so this is found under tools and forestry 500 for the trailer Slot count will drop down from three to one. Options, we can change the uprights tight. Oh, I can never remember the name of those things. I want to say stanchions every time, but that's probably not right. So anything on that palette. Main colour does the chassis and frame. Like so. Very nice indeed. That's by driver 300. Next, we have got this. This is the Valmet 118. This is by Andres Rocker. I want to say it's Macaron FS. Sorry if it's Macaron FS. In game Leonardo Holtzschuh Holtz. There were quite a few to say on that one. 34.39 megabytes download, 22 slots on console. There are a few different options available. This comes with rice wheels as standard. It's a little bit like the one we had was it a couple of weeks ago, a week ago now. You'll find it under medium tractors. On the end, 57,000 for the base model. And we can have it basic, like that, with awning one or awning two. Then we can have it with bumper one, bumper two, then combinations with awnings. So awning and bumper one, awning and bumper two, then awning two with bumper one. All in two with bumper two. Then we have bumper one and weight. Then various weight options. Then with awning. Then back to basic. Then we've got rice tyre. Rice tyre plus auxiliary. Double rice tyre. Dry tyre. With weights. Double rain tyre. Balloon tyre. With weight. Back to rice tyre. The engine size, we've got the MW118, 118 horsepower. The 128, 128 horsepower. The 138 at 138 horsepower. And then back again. It's 
no horn. Not one I get to work. Lights. The seat. Is it going to do it? It was quite cool. Kind of free floating. You see it bounce then. As you accelerate and then brake. So when you're in cab, you get a lot of this kind of floaty bounce. It's, it's cool. I like it. Bit of bouncing on the seat. Like so. There you go. I went for the 128. Although, turning it off is quite a noisy prospect. Do that again. Lights off. So that's the Valmet 118 Andres Rocker Macaron FS in-game Leonardo Holtzshu Holtz. I think that's about right. Uh, next, we've got this, and this is lovely. I really do like the look of this. Now, on the website, Mod Hub, it says white. So this is a white tractor, a Field Boss Series 3 by Julian F. Modding. On console, on the console uh, Mod Hub, it's the Agco Ground Chief. So rather than being the Field Boss, the version we've got on console is the Ground Chief, and it's the Agco version rather than white, but it is just a white tractor. Um, the Series 3, this is 14.71 megabytes download, 12 slots on console, which is pretty cool. I really do like the detailing on this. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, that Zach Johnson, the millennial farmer, I'm sure he said his dad had, a, had they had white tractors way back. But yeah, nice looking mods. There's some really cool details, and there's one that really made me laugh out loud as well, um, which we'll see in just a moment. So this is also under medium tractors. The Ground Chief Series 3, really cheap as well, for the horsepower too. 26,300 for the base model. Cab configurations. So it comes to standard like that. We've got no. We can have a GPS terminal, so you can upgrade your old tractor with GPS. You can have it with a sprayer terminal inside, or both. You can have it with a beacon, and then combinations with the GPS terminal. So GPS, beacon, GPS and beacon, sprayer terminal and beacon, all. So if you want to go for all, beacon, sprayer terminal, and um, GPS terminal. Then exterior configurations. We've got standard, we've got straight pipe on the exhaust. We've then got mirror one, which puts... One mirror on the left-hand side. Then we've got mirror one and pipe. Then we've got truck mirrors, which puts two round mirrors there. And we've got those with pipe. Then we've got this one. Stolen case IH mirrors. <laughs> they could have been bought. They didn't have to be stolen. But that just made me smile. I like that. Um, that also with a pipe. And back to standard. I love that. Then tire options we have got single row crops we've got row crops and weights we've got dual row crops so you've got a bit of a gap between them there uh, we've then got wider tires dual wider tires back to single row crop that's quite cool but i do like the gap with the row crops the dual row crops the engine setup we have got the 2110 125 horsepower the 2135 150 horsepower and the 2155 170 horsepower. So with a few adjustments made, 170 horsepower tractor is only 44,200 at the moment, which is pretty amazing. Then we've got exterior uh, more exterior attachments. So we've got no, we've got the stole. So we've got a front loader attacher. You've got 330 pound weight, 550 pound weight, 770. 990 or 1,210 pound weights or off. We'll jump, it doesn't matter which one we jump in. Horn, although this one didn't get a beak on this one. But lights, it's even got, it looks like upgraded, it looks like LED light packages as well. Nice. Indicators across the top at the front and at the back. Cool.
I just think for the price and the horsepower, it's amazing. And I do, I do like these older tractors. I just love the look of it. It's crisp, it's clean. It's a great looking mod. I don't think this has opening doors or windows, no, no. But interior as well, very, very nice. Although, oh yeah, cool. Very, very nice. That's by Julian F. Modding. The White slash Agco. Field Boss slash Ground Chief. It's funny, actually. Well, you probably don't want to hear this, but my dad used to call people when we went out places. I always remember as a kid going somewhere. Never used to spend a lot of time with dad because he worked a lot of shift work. And they took us on a trip this one time, and everyone he interacted with, he either called Chief or Boss. And I'd never, ever heard him say it before. And it just made me smile. It's like, thanks, Chief. Okay, boss. And, this, and seeing both these today has just really reminded me of that. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, so, this is yesterday's mod that dropped. This is the Vagestat Carrier XL825. This is BB Land modding. It is 10.53 megabytes download, 8 slots on console. Now, the game, we have a standard in game version of this, and in all honesty, there's not a lot of difference. I think it's the same mod, there's just a few different configuration options on this, as in colours and tyre choices and rims. I think this one runs at one mile an hour more than the standard in game one. So, this you'll find under tools and disc harrows so the standard carrier xl 825 is 75 grand runs at 10 miles an hour requires 340 horsepower 8.3 meters wide this one on the end also requires 340 horsepower also 8.3 meters wide but it runs at 11 miles per hour not 10 slot count will drop down from 8 to 1 options we can change the rim color as i've already mentioned design color uh, let's go with something different. And then main colour. Like that. Then we've got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, Mitres, and back again. And it operates just as you would expect. The cultivator to oper oper Put my teeth back in. Operate. There we go. Convention start. Carrier XL825 by BB Land Modding. Disconnect from that. Because next we have got. Get out of there. The Shooter Marker Robusta. Sorry if I've said that wrong. 260. Not Robusta. Shoot, um, Shooter Marker. Oh, sorry. Uh, the Robusta 260. This is by STV Modding. It is, let's get around, we've got a bit of light on it, there we go. It is 21.51 megabytes download, 28 slots on console. It does have a splash plate spreader on the back, but it also has connectors to put other implements on. There are loads to choose from. Now, it doesn't actually say on the website or in the Mod Tub store what the spread width is. I did a bit of a check using the, the meter thing, and I think it's 12. It certainly seems about 12 meters, from what I can gather. Uh, nicely detailed. Pipe work does move if you want to go for a slightly more authentic look. What else was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I bought this out on a slightly smaller tractor, and with that on the back, on the way out, the front wheels of the tractor were lifting a little bit, so there's quite a bit of weight on that. And it just lifted it a bit, so I had to put it on a slightly larger tractor just to get it to um, to work a bit better. But you know. this you'll find under slurry tanks, 95,000, requires 250 horsepower. It's a 26,000 litre tank. The slot count will drop down from 28 to 2. It will run at 10 miles per hour. It will do slurry or digestate. Options, we can change the rim colour. 
to anything on that palette. Uh, then we've got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, and back again. Each one we've got a standard and a wide. I think I went for the Michelin on the one I've got out. The wide just seemed a little bit bulkier, a little bit chunkier. Then design, we can have the Schutemacher Robusta logo in standard, which is yellow, or in white. Those are the options. Like I said, it will hook up to pretty much any of the uh, any of the pre-approved attachments. There are loads available in mods and various different things. I'm going to open up this menu. No, that menu. So, L1 and right stick up and down will do that movement. But what you want to do is the other one first. So rather than L1, we're going to go R1. Right stick up and down does that movement. Right stick side to side does that movement. Then if we go back to L1 and right stick up and down, we then get that. So combinations of those three, if you want to go for a more realistic kind of getting slurry out of a tank and that kind of stuff, you absolutely can. Let's fold that back down. No. Isn't it funny? When I was setting the mod up, it did it. There we go. I did it, no problem at all. No hesitation, just did it. As soon as there's an audience, I go to pieces. So there we go. Now, like I said, it does have a splash plate. So if I turn it on now, it spreads out. And I, I make that about 12 metres. I did measure it with a measuring stick. But what you can also do is hook up. And open that up. And then you can also cultivate and slurry or drag hose, drip hose, all the various different things you want to. But you don't have to if you don't want to. So, let's turn that off. That's the Shooter Marker Robusta 260 by STV Modding. Next, we've got the Lizard AK9. This is a subsoiler. This is 6.36 megabytes download, four slots on console. It's by DRKN042 or Darken042 and Kaya Mods. It's a 3.2 meter wide subsoiler. You will find it under subsoilers. 7,500 to buy, it requires 90 horsepower, runs at 7 miles per hour. So it will give you. That's your options under design. You can change the colours and hang on that palette. It will give you a ploughed state, but a cultivated look. And I have checked this. So. <laughs> this, this is not going to surprise me today. There we go. So we are subsoiling. The lizard. AK9 by DRKN042 Kaya Mods. Next, now this is really cool, although it has a problem. <laughs> I thought it did, and now I'm absolutely certain it has. Um, we've got this. This thing is fully loaded. It's, I love it. This is the Case IH2150 Early Riser Planter. It is by Custom Modding. It's 23 megabytes download. It's eight, no, 15 slots on console, not 18. But it has a tendency to move, as you can see on the ground. Look. Can you see that? It's moving on its own. Now, that could be a conflict with the map. But when I left this, it was lined up nice and neatly, <laughs> ready to do its job. And in the time it's taken me to go around the rest of the mods, that has just completely moved itself around. All on its lonesome. Hmm. But when I say this is fully loaded, wow, does this come with some options. And it looks absolutely cracking. It is a really, really nice mod. The level of detail on it is, is amazing. Now, it's under planters. There are two things you need to know. One, it is a direct drill. Two, it does everything. If I click on my options on my side panel, if I go through, we're on sugar beet at the moment. So, sugar beet, cotton, wheat, barley, oats, canola, oilseed radish, grass, corn, sunflower, soybean, back to sugar beet. 
so it does everything it's not cheap <laughs> that's the other thing about it it's not cheap but we've got the tracked version here and you can see it's still moving notice that still moving a little bit this has row cleaners which are adjustable as well i love that at the front we have the option for um ridge markers that we can change the tanks we've got a digital readout there's all sorts of stuff so what we'll do is you know what i'm going to open up first let's do the operation bit first then we'll have a look in the mod tub because if we go and look in the mod tub it would be moving again it could end up anywhere somewhere else on the map entirely unfolds really nicely i think it's a 12 what was it 12 meter 12.2 something along those lines but as you can see actually let's go and have a look the the level of detail on this is astounding each row numbered which is great actually that's what i was going to do let's open up the um tank l1 left on the d-pad opens up our seed tanks and we'll go around and have a look at the display i, mean, I could have jumped up anyway but you know, it puts the ladder out for you we go up on here digital readout for our seed so it tells us how much seed we've got in here when we're loading or as it's running out there is a fertilizer tank forward just there as well but it does also have a light here <laughs> So at night, you can check on your seeds and stuff. We do have the option for those extra um, additive type buckets and stuff to be put on there. Um, oh, yeah, oh, wow. I know uh, Wicked Clown's been waiting for case planters and seeds and stuff for ages. I hope he's still watching. And if he is, this, this should make you smile. We'll get on to it in just a second. So under planters, it, we'll see how far it's moved by the time we come back there it is just there now like i said it's not cheap um 232,380 but i think because in the real world because of all the things it does now in game it will do your seeding slash planting it will fertilize and seed at the same time if you want to yeah 12.2 meters requires 250 horsepower to pull it no options available we get it standard let's say standard that's how it comes so you've got an option at the front of putting on hang on no go back up right so we've got the option of a hydraulic oil cooler no or yes now it puts the hydraulic oil cooler cooler on but does that make a difference in game no but it does look pretty impressive and the time and level of detail put into that is incredible so you can have that yes or no then we've got numbers uh, on the back section here where was it there we go on that little box there we have numbers one all the way up to 18 so if you have 18 of these you're covered no problem at all uh, then we've got a rear attacher yes or no so you can have a rear attacher on there so you can carry more seed fertilizer whatever you want with you put maybe put another fertilizer tank on because there's less fertilizer than there is seed um we have got the option of uh supplement buckets now that's the bits in the back so like i said the additive supplement buckets you don't have to have them they're aesthetic but you can put them on if you want to then we've got tire option lizard destination farm or the lizard s tech 012 p's which are the tracks so you can put the track units on if you want to the track units add on a fair amount of money but they do look rather nice uh, then we've got bulk fill scales that's the bit up there we can have the, the scales that i showed you yes or no we've then got hoppers and or tanks so we've got bulk fill which is what we got did we go for that we can have bulk fill you can have on row hoppers so without the bulk so you have individual hoppers you can have plus liquid fertilizer tank as well as the on row hoppers you can have the bulk fill and liquid fertilizer or that one in addition so you can have the center wing liquid fertilizer as well which i didn't go for that option because i missed it um but that will increase obviously the amount of liquid fertilizer you've got in addition to your seed so when i say this comes fully loaded wow uh, then we've got smart box yes or no now smart box adds a whole another row of gear on to each section and i think in the real world that's for um Oh, what's it called when you're using your gps uh like your row shut off systems and things like that i think uh then we've got wing options when it wings out we've got stock 
or with weights so we can add weights onto those wing sections um, and then we've got ridge markers as well so yeah like I said fully loaded what we'll do is hop in let's close that put the ladder back up now what I said about the row cleaners at the front if I open up the help menu uh, L1 and right stick up and down raises and lowers those row cleaners so when we drop that down into position you can if you want to and again it's aesthetic but you can raise and lower those row cleaners to kind of simulate it clearing away any debris and stuff in front of the rows ready for whatever you're doing it's a nice feature uh, ridge markers L1 and up on the d-pad does the left one then the right one I'm not quite sure why that's going backwards that was weird and then back to the middle again so if we turn this on now that sounds incredible now I know the question then gets asked well, does it do anything different to any other seed or planter well not really but it sounds great it looks amazing each of the individual rows are moving up and down kind of independently as it goes it's a great addition to the game I, I, like I say it sounds brilliant it looks brilliant the options available are phenomenal I honestly can't believe that's all been done on a was it a 15 slot count that's incredible um, I know I've been kind of hovering on this one for a little bit longer than maybe some of the other mods today but But wow. <laughs> Just wow. Anyway, the Case IH 2150 Early Riser Planters by Custom Modding. Phenomenal. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today, and another one with a bit of a creep issue. And it is the Elmer's Super 7 by Farm Centro Sol. It's weird that we have had... Um, two of these in fairly quick succession now this is a weeder and it does only do weeding now, I've said before I don't put weeds on I don't use them very much anyway um, this is a 21 I'm sure the other day was a 24 wasn't it this is a 21 meter but it seems to be having some issues again with a bit of creep a bit of twist and a bit of movement I also had a few problems with it folding and unfolding it looks nice the Elmer's Super 7 and when it unfolds you've got all these cables that are all there and you know look very nice but it does appear to have a bit of a problem this is found under weeders 47,000 21 meters wide requires 350 horsepower options available there are none you get it just like that it's a mechanical weeder so it will remove your small weeds from a crop in the first grow stage it's just whether or not I can get this to work now. Obviously, I haven't got any weeds, but I can still show you it opening and closing, which may highlight the issue. I thought I'd left this connected, but obviously I hadn't. But it's certainly moved from where it was. So, that's... As you drive forward, it kind of centres itself. At least it seems to centre itself. If I do L1 and X now to unfold... He puts the wheels down. Now this is another one, it takes a while. You see all the stuff going at the front here? It's kind of tensioning the cables. It pulls those forward, which should pull the wings out. There we go. And then when you're in position, you lower it the last little bit. And away you go which is all very lovely and like i say it looks nice when i stop lift it up it takes a bit of time there we go got an end then fold it this is where i run into issues now it does this bit absolutely fine and you'll see these front bars will start to lift up there we go And then that should roll 
back into position. It's kind of going. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to be done off the field, but then we got this. It does this. So, I don't know if it thinks it's already done, because those wheels lift off the ground, which means the wheels that are now on the ground are the ones for transport. So, I'm assuming, then, what you need to do is drive forward to get into position, but it does that. It really doesn't like going back into position again. Either that, or it's just not folding up properly, or, yeah, I... I'm not too sure, I'll be totally honest. And you and you saw how it was. Now I've tried unfolding, refolding, I've tried it on the field, off the field, and it does seem to have a bit of a mind of its own. Uh, but anyway, that's the Elmer's Super 7 by Farm Centro. I saw audience, that was 9.76 megabytes download, nine slots on console for that there are two new maps out today again i will get onto them as soon as i can that may not be till tomorrow morning maybe we've got dabrovka i think it is dabrovka by Tomix, which i'm assuming is another polish map and we've got italian rice xl by tda team which is another northern italian with rice fields that flood and that kind of thing so i will endeavor to persevere i will try to get onto those and get some map tours done for you i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching